Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I'm going to show you a really simple and safe way to cut glass, so check it out. It's really cool. Alright, so this method of cutting glass is really simple. There's not a lot to it. It's not necessarily for cutting like crazy shapes or super precise little tiny cuts. It's just for big, broad, chopping a bigger piece down into something smaller. Maybe you have an old door that has a custom sized piece of glass and you found a bigger one at the hardware store and need to cut it down. This will work. Or maybe you're, you, know, you just need a small piece for a craft project or maybe a picture frame broke, the, you know, the glass broke and you found another piece of glass but it's a little too big and you need to trim it down. This will work perfect for that. So for this video, I found this old picture frame out here for 50 cents at the thrift store. And the only reason I'm really using it is just because it was a really cheap piece of glass I could use for this sample video. And uh, another cool little tip is, uh, you know, if your picture frame uh, glass broke, instead of going to a store and buying a whole new frame or even going to a hardware store and buying a piece of glass, look at thrift stores because they have tons of frames. I got this one for 50 cents, it has everything in there. It's a really good piece of glass. All right. What you need to cut it down is one of these little glass cutting tools. They're about two bucks at the hardware store. It has a little metal wheel on top that has a beveled edge. A couple little gripper teeth here if you need to snap uh, little pieces off and it has a ball on the end you can use to knock the glass. I'll show you that later. Also, you're gonna need some kind of a straight edge. Um, I have a little metal ruler here. It's a little thin. I'd prefer something a little thicker, but it will work fine. Um, if you had a really straight piece of wood, that would work as well. Another thing is one of my little tricks up my sleeve is a dowel rod. I'll show you how to use that later. And you can even use some tape and a marker if you need uh, a little help. I'll show you that to you too. Also, when you're cutting down plate glass, so this is the type of glass, if it breaks, it looks like knife shards. It will be sharp if it breaks or if you drop it. So I'd recommend some safety gear. So maybe a set of leather gloves and then maybe even some safety glasses. And check out the uh, picture here, this 80s Navy dude. Check out his glasses. Remember when those were cool? All right, so how about I uh, take this piece of glass out and then I'll show you how to cut it down. It's really easy. All right, so I took my piece of glass out, I cleaned it up so it looks a little better. And right now it is a classic eight by 10 piece of glass. So let's say that I had an old five by seven picture frame and the glass broke and I had an old eight by 10 I'm not using, I wanted to cut it down to a five by seven. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'll measure out the five by seven and I'll use one of these markers to mark the lines to cut. So I know exactly where to cut. And the good thing about these is it will wipe off clean later. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you how to cut it and snap it. All right, so I have my good five by seven section marked off. These two parts here with the X, we're gonna cut off. We have to do it into two different cuts. So what you probably will do just automatically is you're gonna take your straight edge and line it up to the line, but that's not actually how you wanna use it for one of these little cutters. And the reason is because that little tiny metal wheel in there is offset to the middle by about an eighth of an inch. So you actually wanna take your straight edge and bring it inside the line about an eighth of an inch before you make your cut. Now the other thing is that you're gonna be using enough pressure that this thing could go off course and the glass is pretty slippery. So there's a good chance that your um, straight edge may slip on you. So if you're not comfortable with that and you only have like one shot, a little trick, and it may be a little overkill, but it is helpful. You can use a little tape, just rolled up, put it on the bottom of your straight edge, and that will keep it from moving around. So I put my tape on there, and then I will set it up against the line, about an eighth of an inch inside. And then what you wanna do is take your cutter and get a really good grip on it, and you wanna put about a medium amount of pressure, not too much, not too little, and when you pull it, it should sound like eggs or bacon sizzling in a pan, and that's when you know you got the right amount of pressure. So you also wanna make sure it is dead flush against the uh, straight edge, and you don't want it to go off course, because you will have a, you know, if it goes off this way, the crack, or the uh, break will be offset, and it'll be hard to fix. If you go inside your line, then you ruin in the piece you wanna save. So let me do it real quick, and I'll be super careful, and listen, this is what it should sound like. All right, just that one little uh, drag there should be enough. And now to break it, what a lot of people will do is they'll just take it in their hands and they'll snap it or they'll put it on the edge of a table and try to break it off or whatever. But what I like to do is use a dowel rod. And what I do is I center that score mark I just made right on the center of the dowel rod, okay? And that way it gives it a little support when we break it. 
Now another thing, if you want, if you don't feel safe or comfortable with the glass, you can wear your leather gloves if you want. For the video, I guess I won't, just to show you. I guess if I bleed all over the place, then it's my fault. So anyway, what I like to do is hold the glass firmly in one place, and then with the other, you press down on it, and make sure that that uh, score mark, like I said, is centered right on the dowel rod, and it should snap real clean. Check that out, perfect cut. So let me cut this one, and I'll show you one more trick you can do with this little cutter. All right, so check it out. Now we have a really good five by seven piece that has really clean edges, perfect, ready to go. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you're cutting small little pieces, like let's say I needed this little tiny square for something, after I score it, it actually becomes a little harder to, uh, to break off with just your hands. So what you can do is when you line it up, instead of using your hands to press down, you can even tap it with a little ball in here and check this out, it works too. And you get another clean cut there. Now, it, maybe it kind of freaks you out hitting it with the metal, but it usually works out really well. But on huge pieces, like a big window, whatever, your hands work totally fine. But that's all there is to cutting it. Really clean cut, doesn't take much at all. Really simple, but I thought I'd share a couple little tricks that I think makes it a little easier. So I hope that helps you out if you're ever trying to cut glass. And it works on mirrors too, if you're uh, curious about that too.